I'm gonna try, try. Okay, it's not this. To narrow it down to the least amount of crap. Get this, because there's a GTI on it. Oh, man. I feel like it's all the same, right? A lot of people told me to try the B12. Let me try that. Uh, don't you know this uh, really, oh, seafoam, right? Everybody's popular go-to seafoam. After that mishap, okay, I got the seafoam. I don't want smoke. <laughs> There's so many things. Engine restore, which is probably all the same. Restore. This one sounds syrupy. I'll get that one too. Um, deep clean DPF. This is for diesels. I'm not getting that. Insta shutter fix. One tank power renew. There's just a lot of gimmicks here. But this is display only. This must be fancy. Data clean. Okay, I'm gonna stick with what I have so far. And the Coke. I gotta try the Coke. Everybody wants to see what Coke does. This one will not stay focused. So I'm about to have $300 in bullshit. Besides other stuff that I bought already. I don't know if I cut off on my last one and what didn't, so. Use the engine restore. Another tab of it. This smells a lot different than the world. That is like syrup. And then I'll use this one, I guess the BG, because everybody, a lot of people wanted. Eh, I got no nails. Can you see this ball, this glass right here? Oh yeah. Alright, so we got Seafoam Coke B12, top engine clean, 44K, and, oh shoot, I mixed those up, engine restore in 44K. So you got a colorful thing going on here. So let's put to 44K. Top engine clean, B12, Coca-Cola, and Seafoam. And then I will let this sit for, I don't know how long, some, some time now, and then uh, I guess, I don't know what a good test would be. Let's see if there's any reactions going on. You can kind of see some fizzy going on there with the Seafoam. That's interesting. Nothing going on with the Coke. A little fizzing going on with the B12. Nothing going on with the top engine clean. Cannot see anything in there. The 44K is doing nothing. That's cool to see that it actually something is happening to some of them. I mean, just fizzing. Just two of them. Okay. You can kind of see, like there's like this thing like on the side right there, you see it? It's like, whoa. That's the B12, that's interesting. Nothing's going on with anything else like that. Hmm. All right, well, I'll come back in a couple hours. It has officially been 24 hours. I meant to say, what I meant to say yesterday was 24 hours, not a 
few hours. Let me decline my phone call. So all of these you can't even, uh, except for the first one, uh, sea foam you can see in. Every single one is dirty. I think the only one that you was cle wasn't clear was this one, and then the Coke. So let's just see what they look like without touching them. That was the one that was missing a chunk already. There's Coke. Doesn't look promising. Here's B12. Nothing just falls off. Engine restore and 44K. Let's see if we can see how oh, I can see through here. I can just see weird. I need a flashlight. I think I have one. I do have one, I should say. Alright, so let's see. We got this one, which I can't get a focus on. It's just cloudy. <laughs> cloudy. That one you can still kind of see through. So, now let's see. Start with the sea foam. Sea foam with the razor blade. It's not too bad. It's still pretty. This is the one that was missing a chunk. I mean, that's still as hard as a rock. You can hear it. No. That didn't do anything. Coke. Mm. Don't think it did it. It didn't do anything. It's still super gnarly. B12. Okay, that's just falling right off. Oh, that really, that came off really good. Hopefully it does So actually, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, blast these with walnut. So I'll put the B12 back. Here is the AC Delco top engine clean. Still, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Still, I mean, it's still a little hard, but so I mean, this is 24 hours though, so who knows what a few hours would be like? Cause that's most of the time frame I have. Here is engine restore. Same. Then here is the 44K. Just didn't really, it's not, no, it's pretty hard still. I think the B12 was probably the best one. So now I'm gonna go charge up my AC compressor, or sorry, air compressor, and then I'm gonna blast it off. All right. Here's the sea foam. Okay. I'm trying to focus here. Come on. There's still some hard deposits to get off there, but not terrible. Coke. Coke. Doesn't do anything. B12. Mm. 
honestly, I think probably B12 did the best so far. It's not bad. Fuck. Damn focus in here. Nope. Does not want to focus on anything. Well, okay, over here. there's B12, which that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's do AC Delco. Couple quick blasts. That's not bad either. Honestly, it seems like a sort of a cleaner works. You know, it does something. This one's gonna be messy. Engine restore does nothing. I'm making a huge mess here, by the way. And then 44K. Meh. That's not bad. Get the stem. I think the stem is the hardest to get clean, but let's say 44K to Chitty. I think the best is. Uh, C foam and B12 chem chem tool. See if look outside so I can really blast these. Okay. B12 chem tools. I mean, I think, I feel like any of these, I didn't get gasoline, I totally forgot to try that. But I'm assuming gasoline would probably do almost the same as these top contenders here, or whatever you want to call them. Um, but I did it for 24 hours, but I don't think it's really going to make a difference whether you do it for 24 hours, or if you do it for, I don't know, three or two or one. I think it's just, once it soaks into that top layer, if it doesn't go into the into the buildup, that mushy, gunky crap, then it really doesn't do anything. But I think any, you know, this is probably your best bet right here, or seafoam. It worked. It helped. Um, one day I'll have to try just soaking um, some in before I do one. Because people come down and they do it. Coke did nothing. They come down and I do it for them and they're waiting or whatever and I do it relatively quick this this engine restored did nothing I'm, I think it doesn't work like I think you're supposed to drive around with it in so it, I mean it's not bad it's better than nothing that one's coke <laughs> B12 with some light Blasting. So yeah, that's super scientific right there. It doesn't get any more scientific than that. It's like NASA's, you know, whatever. So there it is. There's a little, got a G Wagon to work on. Wonderful. I don't even know if it'll fit on my garage. Cool. Peace out, homies. Makeshift walnut blaster for. Um, Cleaning carbon, just a Harbor Freight dealio. Holds 50 pounds. And then I, here's the gun that it comes with, and I just put like this copper tube on the end and bent it to go upwards. And it's pretty basic. I put a gauge on it because once it falls below um, like 100 psi, it's not as effective. 
So I keep it around 100 to max pressure, 120, I think, um, to keep it nice and, you know, actually doing something. Urgh, um, But yeah, that's the carbon cleaner I use to for the valves. Pretty, pretty jank, but it works. Mm -hmm. Just did one today. So there it is. <laughs> In all its glory, I've used it about, I don't know how many times, endless amounts of times. For some reason, I have, like, all these clutches everywhere. I got that one. Pulled them all out. I was like, I need to throw these away. Like, what is my problem? Why do I have these? I hate trash. Look at... Well, this is for the five-cylinder. But all this is trash. Trash. I try to save it, you know, just in case someone says they need one. But nobody needs, like, stock. Like, I just give it away. Like, if someone needs one, I'll just give it away. I don't... <sighs> all right, then.